What up, people? It's uh, Jason here from Custom Cans, and as you know, we're always kind of innovating and updating things. Uh, yeah, we've made an update to our DT770 mass loading and damping kit. It's not quite out yet. It should be out on the shop soon, but I thought I'd shoot this video to show you how to fit it, explain what improvements we've made and why and that kind of thing. So uh, so here we have a pair of DT770s. I'll let these uh, kind of play for a little bit just to loosen up the driver, and then I've taken a, a reading so we can kind of see the changes that... that come from modding them and uh, it's, it's relatively subtle on the on the DT770 but we can squeeze out a bit more accuracy from the bass and tune the sound a little bit on them. So our old kit, don't know if you're aware of it, we used to use uh, lead weights and damping material. We put uh, lead weights on the back of the driver which gave it something to press against uh, kind of to stop the driver from moving rather than the diaphragm and that improved the quality of the bass. But a lot of people had concerns over handling lead and the kit took quite a long time to fit but it was the only kind of cost effective way that we could do it. And then uh, about a year ago we developed this jobby for the HD650 and learnt quite a lot. We made this out of copper which again is a nice heavy material. Not as heavy as lead but it's pretty dense. But that part was expensive. Uh, these cost us around £25 a pair to get made just because there's a lot of careful machining that goes into them and you couldn't really do a kit that expensive for the DT770. So anyway, so uh, we spent a while and we've developed these copper rings. It's kind of something that we've formed in-house because we can do it cheaply. It's self-adhesive, it's pretty quick to fit. So let's, uh, let's fit this and then test them. So let's do the left ear cap. So these have been designed so you don't need any special tools to fit them and it's a relatively easy straightforward job for anyone to do it in about 10 minutes. So what we're going to do is probably extend the arms out fully on the DT770, hook one arm over the other just to keep that ear cap out of the way. Then we're going to remove the pad. Then we're going to remove the retaining ring. For that you'll need something blunt and thin. I recommend a butter knife. I'm using the handle of a scalpel. We're going to stick it up underneath the ring in between the foam pad and the retaining ring and then just give it a twist and there'll be a pop. That will pop out. Now, uh, under here, as you can see, here's the actual driver. So that's the bit you've got to be you know, careful of. Let's uh, tap a tapper. That'll come out. Okay, so now we have the driver dangling. We're doing the left side because that's the harder one to do. Uh, so now inside we have the driver out. Okay, let's just remove this out a bit with the cotton on it just pulls away like that just makes just gives us a bit more access now then these these will be the things that you'll get in the kit and these have got double-sided sticky tape on the inside so you just remove the the red plastic which is covering up the sticky material and then to make sure that these clamp on tightly we've made these slightly smaller than they need to be um, so just eke that out a little bit and then that should go on nicely so then just make sure that's all tightly secure onto that outer section there so the double sided sticky tape will just hold it in place and stop it from slipping so on the inside of the ear cap because it's a closed headphone there's going to be a little bit of sound bouncing off the inside and back through the driver so we want to reduce that a little bit to make it sound a little bit less kind of boxy should help with harmonics and that kind of thing so in the pack there'll be this thing and you essentially need to cut two rings out. It's all marked up, so you need two rings and a rectangle. And through the magic of what's it, we'll speed up. Okay, so we have, where's it gone? So the inner ring, the outer ring, this is like just waste material. Uh, and this here, rectangular piece. So inside the ear cup, you'll see there's like a depression in there. So this goes on the inside, that one goes around it. That just means that this will go back together nicely. So just press that all into place. It's self-adhesive again, so just peel the back of it, press it all into place. And the other one, obviously when you're doing this, be careful not to break the wires that are in there. Otherwise you'll have to resolder it, which would be a bit of a nightmare. So don't yank on the wires. That's my top tip. And if you're not sure what you're doing, don't, don't do it. <laughs> it's not, 
you know, you've got to have a certain amount of skill and stuff to to fit mods. Um, we do do a send-in service. You can send it into us, and we'll mod them for you here. Um, there we go. Right, that's that in. Oh yeah. Uh, before I forget, I'm going to put this bit into the rectangle. What you want to do is just put that around the inside flat area of the ear cup somewhere. So just when there's sound backs and backs and forwards through the ear cup, this will just absorb that as well. Absorb some of it, you know, or break it up. I don't know. Should reduce some standing waves a little bit. Right, let's uh, pop this back together. So felt disc on, making sure you get the cutout over the wires. Uh, pop this back, there's a little key. I don't know if you can see that there, so let's get this in the light. Little key piece there, which matches up with a notch in there, so the drive will only go in one way around. Uh, then the felt on there. And the retaining ring. And then the pad on. This is often the hard part. Um, obviously, I've done it thousands of times, so it's pretty straightforward. But there you go, that's record time. Look at that. I bet it takes you longer than that to put the pads on. <laughs> right, let's pop that back on there. Line it up nicely. Hit measure. Measure. Oh, lorry going past. It's always the way. <laughs> so, shh. Everyone in Chopin, be quiet. Hold on. Start. Okay, so what I've done is I've set it up so that the red line is the original line and the blue line is our modified line. And as you'll notice, right down at the low end, uh, you know, between sort of, what are we looking at here? 45 and 20 hertz, so the sub bass region. We've got a couple of extra decibels. It's, it doesn't roll off as quickly, so it stays flatter down low. So you get a bit more detail right down in the sub bass. And then up in the high end, uh, you'll notice that there's a big old dip around sort of three and a half K. We've reduced that dip and we've reduced the next dip along, which has kind of flattened out the, the those dips in the top end a little bit. So as you can see, it's pretty subtle, but you know, you've got a little bit more flatness and the sub bass really, I don't know, there's only so much you can show on grass. You definitely get a bit more detail and texture in the low end that you don't get without the kit. And then um, if you want to, keep that kind of accuracy in the low end but reduce the base levels a bit we've got these port adapters and they'll come with five different options and all it is is it's just a different size hole for the center so you can tune the sound to your personal preference so with with these kind of things like if you reduce the base you're going to hear the mids a bit more clearly that kind of thing don't know if you can see that there it's essentially a ring with a hole in the middle and on the dt770s there is a base port just by the hinge, it's on the opposite side on each ear cup. And what you want to do is just press, put that over the hole and just stick it down. So it's just a sticker that goes over that. All right, let's just press that down firmly. Let's just measure again. So I've got the middle one on there. As I said, there's five different sizes. This is the medium port. You've reduced the, set, the, the volume a little bit around sort of 50 to 200 hertz is down a little bit um, and then basically you can just tune it subtly using different ones so with the with the base port adapters it's pretty subtle um, each of them is tuned slightly differently as you put them on it will reduce areas of the base just a little bit um, which will bring out the mids and highs a bit, but you lose a little bit in the bass region, so it's and it's something that you can play around with. It's fine without the port adapters, but it's one of those things that if you're a tweaker or a tuner, you want to get like, oh, try, try a couple of those, find that this is quite a subtle change again, but find the one that you like. We'll send you out enough of those to, um, you've got two sets basically, we'll send you out two sets of those so that you can try them out and then find your find your final if it's final form um, yeah so if you've got any questions stick them in the thing um, when we've got these up on the shop I will stick a link we should have them up on the shop hopefully in the next couple of days 
these are going to be a bit more expensive than the old one just because the copper parts are, are quite expensive <laughs> to make uh, even though we're making them in-house we've had to use much thicker copper to get the weight up there and uh, also we've got to form it into the right shape whereas before we didn't have to do any of that so these are going to this kit is probably going to be we're going to keep it less than 15 pounds and you have to just do the final figures figure out the time involved that kind of stuff but yeah the kit will be less than 15 pounds for a pair so it's a bit more than our old one which was eight pound 50 which we will still have up there for a bit but quicker and easier to fit comes with the port adapters and you don't have to handle lead anymore which is which is nice <laughs> copper's a nicer material so uh, yeah yeah i hope that's vaguely interesting and uh if you've got any questions stick them in the thing and i will try and get back to you oh yeah as a bonus feature before i forget one thing that we've been working on recently is possibly an angled driver for the dt770 to give it make it sound a bit more give it better sound staging so the sound is coming from there rather than from there uh this is an early early prototype but um it's getting there we're still doing a bit of tuning because it's not just about angling the driver because we've done that we're changing the volume of the ear cup and it's just yeah there's a lot of, there's a lot of tweaking and testing to do and it's it's not there yet it's not there yet uh but yeah so it's something that we might be doing for the dt770 and 990 is basically a little adapter which will let you angle the driver in there uh it's a slightly more advanced mod so it's not going to be for the faint-hearted you've got to pull the driver apart essentially to get it in there but you know it's another cheap and easy way to take a 130 pound pair of headphones and make it sound more like a 300 pound pair of headphones but we'll uh we'll, we'll have a play anyway so anyway yeah yeah thanks for thanks for thanks for your time and uh i hope you buy some of our stuff one day but uh if not it's just interesting isn't it it's just interesting modding headphones and stuff like that you know just tweaking and stuff you don't have to buy our kit you can use plasticine and other bits and bobs to wait up this is just a, a slightly more advanced thing than you can probably do at home on the cheap but yeah if you've got any uh, any questions stick them in the thing it'd be lovely if you subscribe to catch up on the other stuff we're going to be playing with and so we've got yeah some interesting innovations uh, that we're working on at the moment uh yeah anyway great like subscribe be nice give me a like you know how it works oh yeah